Um, why is there only identified in that video uh, two biological markers um, of mental disorders? So understand, the DSM contains hundreds, hundreds of different mental disorders. But, and what the uh, professor was saying was he says that, yes, the DSM-5, we want to prove that what we are saying can be measured is legitimate by having biological markers. What does that mean? Well, it means that, um, let's say a person is identifying, they've got these symptoms, and the uh, psychiatrist or psychologist believes that it could be this, then let's do some type of test. And, and biological markers generally are either biological, biochemical, which means we're doing blood tests, we're doing u urine tests, uh, radiological, we're doing sort of an x-ray, and then we're going to see the results, and that's going to be able to verify the diagnosis uh, that this mental health professional, whether if they're a doctor in mental health or whether they're, they're a psychiatrist or whether they're a physician, that's how it works. When a person goes to see their doctor and they have some particular ailment <clears throat> that, that is not readily uh, identified by the doctor, these are the things that a doctor takes into consideration before first he makes his diagnosis and chooses his course of treatment. The first thing he's going to do is he's going to listen to the complaint that the patient is giving. The second thing he's going to do, he's going to look at what their past medical history is. He's going to reflect on what the family's past medical history is. And then he's going to deploy some type of uh, biological marker, a test. So that could be a blood test, a urine test, and it's going to be biological, biochemical, or radiological. And when he, he may think with a great, uh, a high degree of certainty that he knows what the problem is, but he needs to take all of those things in consideration. And then when the tests are finally back and it says, yep, that's exactly what I thought about. And that verifies um, what I believe the diagnosis should be. Then and only then will a physician give a medical diagnosis and then determine what the best treatment for that would be. But this is missing in the mental health issue, in the mental health industry. And here we have the Bible listing hundreds and hundreds of mental disorders. And there are only two biological markers in the book. And they are for uh, sleep disorders and specifically for narcolepsy. Um, that's a problem. I mean, that is that is a real sort of problem. Like how can we, how is that science? So.